Hi guys, my name is Eden Rubber and this is Time Lapse Talks. Today's topic is going to be on the effects of antisocial behaviour. Now, before I begin, make sure to watch to the end of this episode as there will be a big announcement for the coming weeks. And with that, let's get back to the video. When I first thought of antisocial behaviour, I pictured the idea that our current society has become accustomed to life only with technology. However, antisocial behaviour is much more broader as it defines someone whose thought process is distraught to the idea that there is no one else in the world apart from themselves. And this way that I view antisocial behaviour is prevalent throughout many minds in this new generation and it has become an absolute stereotype within our society that technology is the only way we interact. And I completely agree with this stereotype. However, again, the broader term fails to reveal itself as we ourselves fail to realise that how the rise of personal technology has influenced the great creation of this mental dysfunction. We live in a society where currently the situation forces us to rely heavily on the technology to communicate and connect with the ones we love and care about. Yet we cannot seem to understand the complexity of how majorly technology can isolate us physically and mentally in this case. As I keep saying throughout my videos, our minds crave verbal connection through a physical form. Since lockdowns are a common occurrence around the world, we are unable to create this connection unless we realise the underlying factor that causes this extreme distress. And so, if we are to allow ourselves to become mentally isolated permanently, then our society, even without a global pandemic, can descend into a bottomless pit of despair and disconnection. So, for this video, I want to focus on the reality of how our society shares a common attachment to personal technology. I want to start off by pointing out how easy it is for someone to become distracted from the real world due to a certain notification or notif notification on their phone, computer, whatever personal technology they have at the hand. This is caused by a certain attachment to your personal technology, hence sometimes your phone, and your brain needing that sense of recognition or com just com out of complete boredom. Even now, whilst I'm recording this, I'm looking at my phone even though I know that there's nothing there. Now, not saying that this is boring to make more that I developed a connection with my phone that is inseparable. This constant has become so prevalent that psychologists have created a fear for such an occurrence. Nomophobia or FOMO, fear of missing out, is a fear that's so obvious that the word literally is an acronym for no mobile phobia or fear. Now, before technology, this fear wasn't as prevalent as there wasn't as many ways to communicate wirelessly. However, the fear of missing has grown, or the fear of missing out has grown as such a large natural instinct for the human race that life without gossip and drama would converge into chaos. Learn from this fear that our entire global population is so null by the seduction of our modern technology that we forget to appreciate the beauty that we live in constant togetherness that is nature. And I say this ironically because the introduction of a technology, not just the modern type but the industrial technology, which is destroying that exact unity we hold with ourselves in nature. That is why I've used this landscape as a background for this episode as you can see before you. So we can see that our constant disconnection with the world can have a major impact on our true connection where we ourselves came from. So much so that our world is currently sloping towards a violent ending. This is also known as global warming, but that is for another episode. So if we are able to create that connection once more with nature, our crave for that physical verbal connection is reduced to a healthy, more understandable compromise where we don't have to worry about constantly trying to check up with our loved ones. However, in this current point in time, you should check up with your family often to check how their mental state is because this, this, point, this point in history is so significant that we, we truly got hit by surprise in it and we don't really know how to deal, deal with it and everyone is extremely anxious. But this is the point I'm trying to make. The fact that we need to become anxious about such a terrifying topic is fair but is not healthy and if we are to calm down 
then we can focus on the important social distancing policies our governments are setting in place and not so much worrying about how our mental state is and then we can actually worry about how we're going to survive this global pandemic. So, what are the ways we can deal with this fear and dysfunction? Well, from what most people have tried and what I've tried is having a cleanse. This is basically a period of time where you have no access to any technology, whether it being for a week or a month, or in some cases a year. Now I'm not saying don't use technology at all, of course you need if you require your computer or your phone for beneficial usage for jobs or work in general, then that would be excluded. However, anything that can pose a threat to your cleansing, like social media and TV, that should be removed for that cleansing period. During this cleansing period, it is important to relax and not stress about the technology you are cleansing yourself of. If this is not something you can handle, try focusing your mind on something productive. Go for a walk, play a card game. Solitaire is my strong recommendation. Not only does it distract you from the forthcomings, but it also teaches you to be more critical with your actions, which in time allows, which in time allows your mind to understand the broader concept of individuality and harmony. When this period is over, you might feel relieved and free. I did. Like, I've tried this about five times, and every time I do it, each time I do it, the more I do it, I, I just feel like my soul has been lifted, and, and I, my, my brain has been, has been released to a, to a higher power. However, this won't cleanse you of all your distracting technology, and you might have to do this more, more than one time. Of course, this won't happen straight away. If you, are, if you are able to extend the time of the period multiple times over, then you will truly understand the meaning of the absolute equilibrium. And this is what I alluded to for my past few videos with the addictions. And it takes a gradual time to cleanse yourself of that addiction, not completely in some cases, but to where it's a healthy amount and it doesn't cause a, a complete distress in your mind and and cause anxiety in 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 your in your life and overall your 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 soul and your 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 mental state that was this episode this video was a trial episode to see whether or not you guys like the gameplay that i usually have or a still image like you see now if you do like this kind of video, hit that like button down below or leave a comment down below saying whether you like this or not. The big announcement that I mentioned at the start of the video was that over the next few weeks I will have a couple of live streams where I talk about some of the advisory subreddits whilst I play a small game in the background. So make sure to tune into each episode and follow my Instagram to get notified when those live streams happen. My Instagram is at timelapse underscore talks. The next episode will be out tomorrow, same time as always, and the topic will be on political corruption. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and feel you have learned something new and that you can connect with it, then please consider subscribing for new videos like this one. Make sure to turn on that notification bell if you are subscribed to get notified when I up whenever I upload. Also, make sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy this episode. If this is the first video that you've ever watched on my channel, make sure to check the channel description or the first video which explains what my channel is about. If you have any suggestions for video, videos idea, video ideas uh, you'd like me to talk about or any games you'd like me to display other than the ones you've seen, please DM me. Or even, even the backgrounds like this one you see now that you'd like to be displayed on this episode. Um, yes, hit me, hit me a DM. My Discord is in my bio, I'll leave a message down below and I will have a look at it. If you are a subscriber, make sure to join the Discord uh, that's in my bio. The group Discord is Timelapse Talks uh, and follow the Instagram, Timelapse underscore, underscore Talks for constant updates on video uploads, both of which are in my bio. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.